My dragons. It's not real, I promise you. Hi, my name's Clay O'Shea, and I'm here for a £50,000 investment for a 25% share in my invention, Abs Pack. Now, dragons, I don't come here, I've not got the best business brain. But what I do feel is that I'm a decent inventor and I've come up with a really good idea. And with my beautiful idea and your beautiful brains, I feel that there's no reason why Abs Pack can't become the best bit of kit in the UK, maybe even the world. Abs Pack is simple. It's so simple, you wouldn't even know I've got it on. Jeez. So look, here you have a normal spine. This is quite impressive coming from me, right? It's called a lumbar spine, that. It's the natural curve in your spine. Most sit-ups are done with a flat back. That puts stress on your lumbar box spine, degenerates your lower discs, and wears out your facet joints. Abs pack fits perfectly into that curve. So now, I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how not to do sit-ups. How many times in the gym do you see the old neck moving? That's not a sit-up, that's a neck up. Oh, my back's gone, my neck's gone. So now, look at this. I'm in a perfect position. I can sit and watch TV like that. The only thing that's moving on me now is my abs. There's loads of exercises that I've made. There, it's just my abs. This here, my neck's not moving, just my abs. No chance of any trouble. Now, once you do abs pack, you'll never turn back. Please, help me. A passionate plea ends this whirlwind pitch from North Londoner Clay O'Shea. He needs a £50,000 investment in his portable muscle building device and is offering 25% of his company. Theo Pafitis just looks bemused. Um, OK, we all understand now what it does. What do you do? Um, well, I run a small gym over in Notting Hill. Do you make a living out of the gym? Yeah, I, I keep it small. I don't advertise. With mine, you only get in if you know someone. You know, like Fight Club. You don't talk about Fight Club. <laughs> um, I've got a great life, no matter what, I feel privileged, you know? Talk me through your history, Clay. How old are you? 45. What have you been doing for the last 45 years? Um, I used to be a professional fighter. I used to be a pro boxer. To what age? I retired quite early, about 29. I was managed by Mancini and Mickey Duff. I was the second best boxer in Great Britain. I had over 100 fights and I come second in every one. <laughs> <laughs> Charming the dragons is a good start, but now Duncan Bannatyne wants to get down to business. What does it cost to make an abs pack? £3.25. OK, what would you sell it for? 19.99. Apart from the fact that you can strap it on, you've got it on all the time, What's the advantage to that as against using a rolled-up towel? That's like between using a skateboard and a car. If you get in the towel, mm. you've got to roll it up, and the thing about a towel, after a few sit-ups, it loses shape. This will never lose shape. Can you pass it to me? Yeah. Fits all sizes. So what's in it? Foam. Foam. Foam rubber, yeah. What patents have you got? OK, there's no pattern. There's no All I've got is trademark. So it kills it, really. I don't agree. I know what you're going to say, anybody can copy it, right? Yeah. But if you're telling me if anybody can copy it, yeah. you're saying to me this is a decent product. That's yeah. the way I see it. Secondly, what are you going to call it? Abs belt? But that's already taken by another company who's doing completely something different. Ab strengthener. Abs there's so many names Ab you could no. put it. Abs pack. Come on. Clay's belief in his invention is clear, but is it misguided? Deborah Meaden wants to know. Clay, when it boils down to it, you have no protection on this. So the only thing that you're really selling is the name. You're asking for an investor to value this name at £200,000. So 
It's a great name. <laughs> Clay, I know you're hanging off abs pack, Clay, because you do love it, but honestly, abs, belt, lots of different variants. <laughs> I do think it's so easily copied, and I can't see how you could make a lot of money out of this. Can I tell you I'm talking to at the moment? I'm in early talks with the MOD for the Army boys. They have tons of stuff flown out to them. Adspack goes on their kit. Tell you what, that in camouflage, mustard. <laughs> then, no. Hear me out. Ah. <laughs> Army boys, you imagine it. They can get down any time. Clay, it's been a great experience. It's going to be good to meet you. Um, so you're out then, yeah? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say I'm out. It's the first taste of reality for Clay as he loses his first dragon. And it doesn't look like Theo Pafitis is about to let him off the hook either. If this got on the shelves, I'd buy one. As you say, just strap it on, no messing around, do me, not doing my neck in. It's, it's probably good. The problem is, how do you make money from it? Sell lots of them. I think that we can sell 20 million of them worldwide. Could we? Yeah. And, and Reebok wouldn't want to sell their version, and, and Adidas want to sell their version, and Nike sell their version. The market. I don't have to tell you how big the market is. Abs Pack's the original and the best. Abs Pack. Look, I hear what you're saying. Problem is, I don't think you would sell enough of these to get my £50,000 back. And for that reason, Clay, keep fighting, but unfortunately, I'm out. And um, Clay, You've done the classic entrepreneurial thing, which is come up with a problem, come up with a solution. So far, textbook, brilliant. But it could be copied faster than we could physically get it onto the shelves. So I won't be investing, I'm afraid. Thank you. I'm out. Two more dragons out, and Clay's confidence is ebbing away. Duncan Bannatyne knows this market well. Has he seen something that his rivals have not? Clay, we sometimes sell things like this in, in our health clubs, but it would be five ninety nine product. You know I mean, it's not a nineteen ninety nine product. But even if it was, you, you can't protect it. You know, um, there's no way you can protect it. Um, so for that Don't reason, you think right? the market's big enough? No. Um, so reluctantly, Clay, I'm sorry, but I'm out. Thank you for the opportunity. I think you've heard it all, and I don't really think there's any point in reiterating it. There's, there's just no investment opportunity here. Yeah, I know, and I can no, see I how passionate you are. I appreciate. Listen, I'm... And, but you know, I've got to be honest with you. I've got to tell you the truth, and um, I think you've just got to be a bit more innovative and think of something else, and then come back next year. So I've got to say, I'm out. But good luck. It's hard to take, but the cruel reality of it is I'm hearing you. I've got to take that on the chin. Cheers. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Thanks. It's been emotional. Lessons learned, perhaps, but no cash. Clay leaves with nothing. Oh, what a great character. He's the kind of salesman that you need in your company, isn't he? Absolutely, yeah.